Okay, I've worked a few more rows of that twisted rib um, with the I-cord edge pattern, um, just so that I can show you a mini version of the stockinette ridge. Um, your work will obviously be a lot bigger and longer uh, by the time the re you reach the first stockinette ridge, but I thought if I do a mini version, you can see what's going on in that section. So um, you start by working the stockinette, sorry, the I-cord edging as you did before. So knit one through the back loop, slip one with the yarn in front, knit one through the back loop. And then you're just knitting until you reach the last three stitches of this row. Okay, and when you reach the last three stitches, all you're doing is turning to the wrong side and purling back the way you've just come from. Again, stopping when you get to the last three stitches of the row. Okay, so when you reach the last three stitches of that wrong side row, you're gonna turn back to the right side again. And um, in the instructions, it says to work that twice. So you're gonna do another um, row of knits to the last three stitches, turn and do another row of purls back to here again. Okay, so I've worked um, four rows of stockinette now without working the I-cord edging. Um, so now I'm back to a right side row and this is where you do the um, picking up the pearl bump. So um, you look if you look to the wrong side, you can see below your left needle, you have you know, one, two, three, four pearl bumps that should be pretty clearly visible on the wrong side. Um, the first stitch is a little bit trickier to see, but um, if you look further along, the pattern becomes pretty obvious. So one, two, three, four pearl bumps down. That's the bump that you'll be picking up to knit two together with the um, corresponding stitch that's on your needle. So here, this is my first pearl bump. So I'm picking it up on the wrong side, putting it onto the left needle, and then knit two together with the, those first two stitches on the left needle. And you just do that for all, all along the row of stockinette. So you look to the wrong side, you look for your fourth pearl bump down, pick it up, pop it on the left needle, knit two together. I've reached the last three stitches of this row. I'm just going to work the I-cord edge for a right side row as I have done previously. So knit one through the back loop. Slip one with the yarn in front and knit one through the back loop. Okay, and there you have your first stockinette ridge.